In today's gaming news, Bungie takes away our sweet, sweet loot, reviews look good for our next trip to Mordor, and Blizzard gives up on Titan. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is Force here with your day's gaming news. First up today, they have removed it! Our sweet, beautiful loot cave! It's been destroyed! In a recent patch, Bungie decided to do away with the loot cave by increasing the respawn timers on mobs from that location from 8 to 40 seconds. We weren't playing the game they want us to the way they want us to play it. Unfortunately, the way they want us to play it pretty much sucks for getting loot. Now, there is, of course, the exception of the guaranteed legendaries. Quite literally, in two weeks, if you cap out Crucible and Vanguard marks, as well as get your reputation up high enough, you can be completely decked out in legendary gear from head to toe. But when you're not getting those emblems, when you're done for the week, the next thing you're going to be doing as a player is trying to find other means of getting loot. And if it continues to be the case that doing strikes and doing PvP blow and are completely random in terms of the loot generation for what you're going to pick up and then what you end up getting from that damn Crypt Dark, there's always going to be a version of the Loot Cave. In fact, already we have got the Loot Cave 2.0. So it is imperative that if Bungie wants to do away with this practice completely to make rewards better, make it more rewarding to do strikes and to do crucible matches. Because as it stands right now, we're gonna just be searching for the next loot cave once you patch this one. Next up in news, the Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor launches next week and reviews are already in and they're looking pretty damn good. The game currently has a Metacritic score of around 85 and it's been getting some top-notch re reviews from major sites like Joystick as just one example, gave them a perfect score. This comes as a bit of a surprise. I liked uh, the last Lord of the Rings game that I played. I enjoy Lord of the Rings Online. I like that fantasy universe, but although this game looked good, I didn't expect it to be getting perfect scores, and that's not the only site. There have been a couple of sites that have given it at least a 9 out of 10. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm excited for next week. And now we always have to worry about, oh, what if they're being bought off and all those other, of course, reasonable concerns at times. Uh, whatever. I'm, I'm going to buy this game. I planned on buying it either way. And I'm just happy to hear that apparently it's reviewing pretty good. It's going to be a fun open world experience and people are really enjoying that nemesis system. So next week, Expect some coverage from me of Shadow of Mordor, and hopefully, as it's been for these reviewers, it holds up and it's actually a good game that I enjoy as well. And last up in news today, I've got some incredibly somber, somber news, and that is that Blizzard has officially completely scrapped the Titan Project. Yes, if you were looking forward to Blizzard's next major MMO, it is going to be quite a ways away. Earlier in the week, during a Polygon interview, Blizzard CEO Mike Morheim said of Titan, we had created World of Warcraft and we felt really confident that we knew how to make MMOs. So we set out to make the most ambitious thing that you could possibly imagine. And it didn't come together. We didn't find the fun. We didn't find the passion. We talked about how we put it through a reevaluation period, and actually, what we reevaluated was whether that's a game we really want to be making. And the answer is no. That's it. Blizzard's next. Blizzard's Blizzard's fail. No. Uh, that's it for Titan. That's it. We're done. It's so sad for me. I remember still actively playing WoW some five, six years ago, and first hearing the the little rumors and whispers about the possibility of their next MMO, the next big thing. It's gonna sort of bring back the wonder that we first had with the start of World of Warcraft, and they're hearing about the name Titan and wondering what it could possibly be, and all the speculation over the past few years. It is all for naught. Titan is done. Later in the interview, they basically talk about the fact that, yeah, they made World of Warcraft, and yeah, it became the MMO, the biggest subscription MMO out there that still continues to rake in so much money every single month for them. But what they don't know is if they want to be the MMO company, if they want to continue to make MMOs. And once they're done this MMO, they'll make the next MMO Titan, and then they'll make World of Warcraft 2. They don't know if that's what they want to do. And you look at recent projects and successes with something like Hearthstone and sort of the reinvigoration of Diablo 3 after, you know, an expansion and various patches, uh, it seems that they're 
just comfortable trying to make these games that are fun to play and they're not sure if that necessarily means it is going to be an MMO like WoW. Now we might still eventually see a World of Warcraft 2. That was even potentially hinted at in the interview. Uh, but Titan... It is no more. And that makes me quite sad. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode of The Feed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to comment in the comment section below about any of the topics discussed here today. How do you feel about Bungie removing the loot cave? Do you think this will continue to be a problem as I do? And unless they fix that loot system, I think we're always going to see a next variation of this sort of farming. Uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, a pleasant surprise from the reviews. Looking forward to checking out next week. How about you and Project Titan? Let's all shed a tear and pour one out for the MMO that never was. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic afternoon. I will see you tomorrow. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force-fed. Come on, Blizzard! What are you doing to me? I really... I just... Oh, I'm so sad. I want to relive my youth, my early days of university, just playing your newest MMO nonstop. That, that's an experience that I wanted. But the truth is, it's never going to happen again because I'm old and I'm jaded. And I just, like the rest of the internet, hate every game that comes out. So I guess even if he did launch Titan, I'd think it was trash. So whatever.